guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abisola. To my old subscribers, thank you for stopping by. If you are seeing my video for the first time, please do me a favor by subscribing. Guys, I'm begging, please and please subscribe. Guys, I'm in Nigeria, living and enjoying life in Nigeria. Yes, I just came back from Arab country and it's been a month plus, less than two months. And I really appreciate the name of the Lord because He has been so good to me. He has been faithful, yes, throughout my Oman journey. I thank God it ended in praise. Guys, please don't mind my mouth. I have herbs, so He's paining me for the past one week now, but I'm treating it. So, guys, I really appreciate the name of the Lord because four years' journey is not easy. Leaving your people, going to an unknown land, unknown country to to walk to look for greener pasture you don't know what the lord has for you there you don't know what your faith is there but i thank god that the journey headed in praise guys i know you guys have a lot of questions with this video beside me i know you guys are you guys will be wondering when did i get pregnant did i bring it from woman is it when i got back is it a uh, is it is it pregnancy what some i know you guys have a lot of questions to ask but guys calm down i'm going to answer everything <laughs> i'm going to answer everything so guys this video, uh, this video you are seeing beside me you guys will be thinking am i pregnant guys i'm not pregnant if you go to arab country you may ask anyone there which is a female the stress there the way it eats people, as in the way it will affect me, be different from the way it will affect another person. So, the way it affected me, guys, I don't even know where to even start from, but all I can just say is thank you, Lord. Guys, this video you are seeing beside me, when this tummy it is tummy fat, it's not pregnancy. So, guys, calm yourself down. <laughs> I'm not pregnant, it's tummy fat. When it started, it's just like play. I think it was when I after completing my two years contract my first two years contract yes i just noticed the first thing i noticed was my period change like normally i, I don't have a uh, i don't have pain at all but all of a sudden this pain started that anytime my period is coming like this i don't even know i can't ex explain that kind of pain then from there i started having this stomach uh, uh upset again i started having a stomach pain that it is just one side this uh, beside the stomach side i told my people i complained and they were like i should just go and drink water i will be fine something like that i complained again they took me to one like say it's a pharmacy because i can't see that place is an hospital how can i be complaining of serious stomach pain and all you can just give me is just like lymphatic injection i told them i need to just scan for me to know what is really going on in my tummy but they just gave me that lymphatic injection and i think i assumed that i should go i'm okay meanwhile deep down in me i know i'm not okay so gradually the stomach started getting bigger it got to a stage I was afraid that hope it's not fibroid. Hope it's not. I was afraid because I don't know what is there. I just started doing the video that I know one day one day I'm going to live there and come to my country to do the necessary tests I need to do. That I have to even start doing the videos and sending it to people that what can I use, what can I use. They started giving me different kind of home remedy I can use. You know, we don't have access to hospital over there. They started giving me different kind of home remedy. I'm using it, but it's, I'm not seeing the results. They will tell me to do enough exercise. Guys, I'm trying, but with the food I'm eating over there, I don't eat their food like that. As in, I eat it, but not to my satisfaction. So the little I hate, the little I hate, do you expect me to start doing exercise with it again? So I couldn't do the exercise like that. And the stomach get, started getting bigger. As in, I was even afraid that anytime I want to snap pictures to my people, I didn't make sure any clothes I have to wear will have to cover my tummy because I feel ashamed of that tummy. I'm not pregnant and the tummy just keep getting bigger, getting bigger. I thought when I sent it to some people, some said maybe it's because we don't have sex over there that I should do what I, whatever I want to do and go back to my country. <laughs> maybe when I start having sex, they told me we get that. And some people are saying, nope, it's not fibroid. Hope it's not fibroid. You need to go back to your country. You need to go and treat yourself. Guys, this tummy keep getting bigger. <laughs> It keep getting bigger to the extent that I can't even do video calls with my family and say, let me stand for you guys to see my body. I feel ashamed of myself. 
Yes. Like, because the tummy was big. No man, no man, if you see the tummy, you'll be asking me, I'm like, you won't even ask that if I'm pregnant. You would think I'm pregnant. <laughs> you would think I'm pregnant. Guys, I'm not pregnant. Stress eats dif uh, people differently. So I could have seen a, a friend, I've seen a lady. She's, she's, let me just say she's not a friend, even though we met online then. Guys, when she clocked a year there, period six, that is her own the uh, path that uh, the stress eater a period sees she used to years and for first year she started a period the second year she didn't see it. she has to go back and i've seen someone that is not even pregnant atomic girl started getting bigger when they went to the hospital they thought that she was pregnant she should go back to her country she came back to nigeria and when she got to nigeria she did the pregnancy test again it came out negative because she wasn't pregnant so where are they seeing the pregnancy from is it because atomic is big Guys, is it because the tummy is big? And I've seen one that has been menstruating for days without stopping just because of the stress. Ladies, I don't know, especially for those that have not given birth before or that have never been pregnant before or that has never done any stressful work and you go to that Arab country. Guys, the way the stress is going to eat you, it will be different for people who are already who have been pregnant before who have put to bed giving birth to children or who have been through serious challenges yes the way it will eat you guys it is usually different so i pray for those people that are still there because i know i still have friends over there and i still have friends that are still planning to go there i pray god give you guys the strength to continue the work because guys it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy <laughs> though nigeria may not be that good now in our economic aspects yes we are going through a lot now in the economic aspect because everything is expensive and salary is low i know it may not be good but i don't know there is this peace of mind this internal joy seeing your people you guys may not eat to your satisfaction but you just seeing your family alone there's this joy that follows it that me collecting more than 100k per month i don't know what is wrong in my body i don't know what is wrong with my medical in uh, medical in my body i don't know what is wrong with everything about me the happiness is not there loneliness depression ah, guys it's two different things it's two different things so guys if you know you are still going to an Arab country, try to prepare yourself because you don't know the kind of changes your body is going to give you when you get there. You don't know. Because me, just look at my tummy. Just look at that tummy. <laughs> you don't need to be asking me if I'm pregnant. You don't need to me safe delivery. But guys, I was not pregnant. Yes, I was not pregnant. Even though my madams do laugh at me or my co-workers. I, I just ask, are you sure you are not pregnant? <laughs> what did I want to say from? When my boyfriend is not there, so why did I want to see the pregnancy from? Guys, I'm going to stop here. To all my friends and families in Arab country, I pray God keeps strengthening you guys. May God crown your efforts. May you not return home dead. You guys went there for your greener pasture. May God bless you beyond your imagination. And may God keep strengthening you guys. Because all I know you guys need, that need now is strength. Strength. You can't do it on your own. Sometimes you will feel so weak and you'll be like... You won't even be able to even take your phone and say, let me just press it and see what is going on around the world because you are so weak. And if these people call you at that moment, you will know where that strength will come from because you have to stand up. You have to answer them. You won't know where that strength will come from. They may even give you work that you'll be like, they, your, your parents can't even give you that kind of work in, a, in your country and you will say you want to do it because you were stressed up. But guys, in Arab country... You guys are hero. As in, I don't even know how to even describe it. Guys, let me stop here. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Guys, your baby girl is still in Nigeria enjoying herself. I'm still enjoying you. You can see. I've not started work. Guys, I don't even know. But should I say maybe because I've overstressed myself right there? I'm using this period to rest because I know if I start work now, I won't have time for myself again. So guys, I'm going to see you guys. Hi, my fellow Fujis. I don't know. Am I the only one that loves native stew? I, I prefer eating native stew than any other stew. I don't know. Maybe because of the locust beans in meat. I don't know. Guys, this is locust beans. This is my uh, grated pepper. Yes, I didn't use a uh, normal blender. I just use grater because I want it rough. Anytime you want to prepare native stew, I prefer using 
greater so that it will be rough or you use your grinding stone or you use your grinding stone so guys i use egg locust beans red oil fish fish yes so guys after putting your oil on the fire you leave it for like maybe one minute or less it depends on how hot the pot is so i pour in the fish i don't know for me i prefer frying the fish in the red oil even though if i want to prepare anything that has to do with especially this uh, fish for pala i prefer frying it with with the red oil i don't know it has this taste and aroma that it do give the food and the taste in the mouth oh my goodness is yummy so i prefer frying the fish first before adding anything to it normally some people will take out the fish after frying but for me i pour in my pepper yes with the fish for you to do for you to boil for some minutes so after frying the fish i fry it so golden brown please don't forget golden brown the color will change you know that yes, the fish now is ready to continue the stew so after frying for like two to three minutes i pour in the pepper yes guys this small pepper is 700 naira <laughs> the thing is still short is still is still doing me somehow because i don't know where we are going in nigeria to so even eat till now you have to have enough cash so uh, guys after pouring the pepper i stir for like one minute then i put in my egg some people will be asking why did i put the egg in the from the beginning i put it because i want the color of the egg to change at the end and I, and I also want the pepper to enter the egg. I will say in my language, I will say any yemuta as in it has so pepper. That is why I put it from the beginning. So guys, after stirring it together, then goes in your locust beans. You see, this one is the bonger of the stew. Any native stew or food that you prepare without locust beans, I don't know. So I will use ogiri, but for a Yoruba lady, I put in the. I put in locust meat. This, uh, hey guys, I don't forgot. So guys, this is it. After like five minutes of frying, I'm sorry I lost the, I lost the, I lost the video of where I season it. So guys, I'm going, I left it for like good five minutes. Just